A Hello everybody, uh, welcome to the first round match between Kfog and Bright. It's 2150 or something, uh, Burts versus 1800 and something vampires. In the booth with me is Purple Chest. Hello! Hello, this game is sparkling like a diamond, Jimmy. Uh, what a first round treat. Two absolutely cracking coaches with two great teams. Bright, well known for his high elf play, a fantastic elf coach really talented with them uh last season we saw him um a couple of seasons ago i think we saw him do really really well with them k Fog, of course a chalice winner himself here with the burts not a usual team for him but one that's uh, really been ripping the ccl apart this season they've got all sorts of toys on this team but they're still bretonians jim not a team you're a fan of i know <laughs> no they're rubbish <laughs> this is especially rubbish. Is apparently, uh, as a, <laughs> apparently someone has abducted Kfog, hacked or hacked his client or something. Maybe chained him to a radiator and forced him to pick thick skull on this blocker instead of tackle. Um, yeah, I don't off, know baby. what on earth. Yeah, there's no excuses for this. I'm sorry, PTK. And I know he's widely regarded as one of the best players in all of Blood Bowl, but that is is not a move that I can endorse at all. When you're up against, when you know you're up against five blood vampires. Yeah. So Bright, as I said, known for his elves, but here with the vampires. But I mean, they do enormous amounts of similar things. They just do it at, uh, at strength four whilst biting people. Yeah. <laughs> and sparkling in the sun. If you're a, if you're a girl. <laughs> 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 and of course uh, one of the key tricks of vampires is uh, being able to destroy slower moving uh, offences that rely on guard and people staying in place with their hypno cheat that's not really the case with birds which uh, are quite lively themselves in terms of pace in fact I would say they have the pace advantage on the field right now they definitely do uh, they wouldn't if vampires were movement 7 but <laughs> they're not <laughs> they're not no <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got two tackle. He's he's got he's got a tackle palm and a tackle mighty. So like, you know, if this guy had tackle, he wouldn't be your primary hitter. And if he had mighty blow, he wouldn't be your primary hitter. But on the other hand, you know, like he could have taken lots of skills other than thick skull. But particularly with this match being the the five bludges, I really think he would have got quite a decent bit of mileage from tackle. Yeah, and because remember those pieces come with wrestle anyway, so it becomes then a rackle piece, which is really really good at getting bludges down. Yeah. Oh, hitting the thrall, not the vampire. Well, I do hear um, that if you kill all the thralls, the vampires have their own problems. I mean, they do, but they still they can still beat you. That's the problem. Yes. Whereas yeah, if you can. take away all the vampires, the thralls can't beat you. <laughs> no. Uh, particularly not these thralls. Again, these teams both very, very efficient. Not a lot of bloat on the thralls. Uh, there's a few skills in there, but not enough to make you really worry and think it's carrying a lot of TV in thrall skills. Yeah. Both, of course, with really, really deep benches. Uh, the Bretonians actually have four peasants. Count them four peasants out there on the bench. Uh, and the vampires, three thralls. Yeah. And the Wumps do have a... Uh... He bribes. They'll be looking to, to you know, get a blitz and a foul in on somebody, won't they, if they can? Yes. I mean, the, the only worry with that is if you lose, start losing thralls to attrition and one to a foul. But as you said, I mean, I think the bribe means that if you find a decent piece under your foot, you can risk it. It's only one in 18 for the bribe to not work. Um, I don't think you have to wait for one of the knights. I think even one of the yeomen would be a decent target. Yes. That's blockers if you're a Blood Bowl 2 Sorry, yes. only kind of person. That's a bad move by uh, Bright there. He does not gaze the, uh, the yeah. person that he left uh, ended up in his tackle zone of. Well, or lineman, <laughs> if you yes, want. There is literally no reason not to. Like Stab, it's a completely free action, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, there's no downside, only upside. Ooh. Ooh. Good job he probed the... Uh, yeah. Job you probed the bloodlust. <laughs> Thick school piece got killed. Brilliant. No, he didn't. All right, you just said that. <laughs> he didn't. 
he, he failed to break his arm. Yep. If Thick Skull keeps him on the pitch more than once in this game, Jim, I'm going to claim a triumph wow. for that piece and that build. <laughs> I mean, he, his job is to live on the line, and he's going to be better at doing that with Thick Skull. That's exactly where he lined up, and that's where he's going to line up every drive because of the niggle. God. No. I still think Fend might have been a better option. Anything. And, and literally any of it. Multiple blocks. <laughs> 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 Kick. He could have taken kick, he could have kicked. He could have taken kick and kicked on this kickoff. That would have been bad. I fucking hate kick. <laughs> I literally can't. No, believe so it. far the vamps are not getting the dice they need, but they only need them, remember, for a couple of turns as vamps. As long as they can stay in there, as long as they can exist, then with, uh, with this many decent vamps on the field, they can always turn a drive in a, a couple of turns. It is, isn't it, Store? It was a very good idea by whoever suggested it to him. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, there's a Kaz. Should have fouled with that guy and then at least... Should have done something before he got instantly killed. Yeah, I mean, the Thralls are extremely disposable in that way, aren't they? They're, they're not hanging about. Yeah, and the apple was used on him. Because he is a dirty player, and ultimately, you know, you've got region on your on your vamps, haven't you? Yes, uh, and a, it's a phrase I've overused, but this is for all the marbles. This is, you know, this matters. These teams, I mean, it matters as much as the Blood Bowl game matters. But these teams, if they lose, have no future. So, if two vamps die and you go out, that's then all five vamps are dead anyway. So, you take your chances. You use your path roundly. Yep. This is quite and as you say, you've got. You've got regen to fall back on, and the way that's coded, you can't know for sure if um, the Apo, which goes in first, is needed over the regen, so... <laughs> yeah. Hello, Fergonomics. Yeah, this is pretty brutal, isn't it? He's got two vamps stuck over here, and uh, PTK has split him off perfectly, and so he's got, you know, he's got this guy stunned, that guy removed. This is very tricky for Bright. Mm. Very tricky turn. Um... I can see him uh, potatoing up on the uh, strength 5 vampire and just running for the hell for it. But as we said, vamps aren't as quick as uh, as even these Bretonians are. He'd get hunted down. Oh, armor break. Oof. Dead. Dead. dead Huge dead. kill there. Instant apple, of course. Phil! Well, it kind of half works. He's not back for the rest of this match. Boy, nope. howdy. He's gone for this game and the next game, uh, which uh, might actually end up more important. But that is one of the key pieces, actually. Chip another one like that, and suddenly it's, I'm going to start to favour the vamps. Well, that's half of his tackle has gone. Um, of course, he doesn't have rattle on this fella. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he's got one tackle left to deal with five blood vamps. That is, I mean, that is tricky, isn't it? Gonna it, lob it to the yes. same time. As yeah, I think I think now that thick skull is looking increasingly like a bad choice. Mm. Right there it goes, and the strength five potato, and then the thralls will come if the thralls come. <laughs> oh, lean Gary, it's like a final, isn't it? This is the first round. Um, absolutely wild. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm personally glad there's no seeding in the chalice. I mean, how would you seed it anyway? Well, that's the thing. I mean, you you literally can't. The way the way nope. that the qualification and everything was designed yep. to work and everything, there is no way you can. Um, I you suppose know. you could do it based on ladder places, but ugh, it would be heartbreaking and pointless. And well, you can't meaning. because it's not based very on, meaningful. Yeah, well, it's it's ba it, the whole thing is done off the the top of the race and that, isn't it? And the, the yep. idea is, if you're if you're top of uh, halflings, that's just as good as being top of chalks. Top. <laughs> Absolutely. So yes, and if you based it on the coach, then it doesn't. You know, it takes no account of what team they brought. If you base it on the team, it takes no account of the coach. It, it is just too much for any many factors to seed this thing well. Yeah. So it means we sometimes get glorious first rounds like this. Yeah. I think maybe this guy could have been further over, right? Because this guy can only get here, so th this vamp could have been over like here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think he's he's slightly. You're, you're right. I think he's he could have screened the other side of the dotted lines, mm. uh, in the central zone a little bit. 
uh, because this screen has a big gaping hole in the middle of it. Okay, well he's just double geofied, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, he's closed the hole up. Oh, I quite like just staying there to eat the block. Yeah. To be honest, I think that. Yeah, me necessary. too. I mean, particularly with the the natural one to free a piece up there being a frenzy. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm uh, which you could choose to not fend, to take it into a single die if it's a push. Uh, it was a thrall, not a not a not a. Push. Oh, it's a thrall. It's the other way around. Yeah, well, still. Um, then it's still a, a you know on push dice. It's still a single die afterwards. Oh, but this is no, this is not his tackler. Where is his tackler? Tackler's on the other side of the field. I was going to say his tackler's right here, but it's not. But he can he can dauntless him. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. Like I really didn't like that dodge. Oh, interesting. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's two go for its for the uh, edge up blitzer to dauntless him, but that of course comes without tackle. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like the dodge, not cause, just because you know, as as PC said as well, you've got the frenzy there, so yeah. So it was just wasn't great to frame up, and then and even if you do, then at least he's not hitting the other guy, and it's like it's taking up someone's action, isn't it? And it's it's just like. Yeah, sometimes it's your literally it's your job just to take a hit for the team. Yeah. All force a dodge. Um, yeah, I mean, like, it's obviously better if it works, isn't it? You know, two thirds of the time it's much better because now he's up here, and you've got a full screen. And there's no chance of anything, and and you've got the throw up field to eat. So like, it's it's obviously great two times out of three. But um, I just felt like he was doing enough to stay where he was. Oh, there's a one. Oh, in wow. There. Yeah. Oh, one in 36. One in 36. Nearly. That was a full on snake, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, he's actually. Yeah, it was. Oh, he's got a, he's got a, he's got a, he's got a bribe as well. He might foul this. No, he's already activated him. Oh, boo. I thought he was just going to go up and foul him. I would have liked the foul there, personally. From this throw. Yeah, there isn't another piece that can get through for it, but um, it certainly would be a lovely piece to take out. The, as you said, the only other tackler on the field. Yeah. Now, does that thrall make break my bloat rule because it's actually semi-helpful? <laughs> if you had to pick three skills to put on a, a thrall, plus agility, sure hands, and block, pretty close to ideal, isn't it? It's pretty good. To great, assist yeah. the vamps. Yep. Means you can pick up and hand off without having to activate for a bloodlust at all. Yep, I think that was the right to reroll that, by the way, because the guy yeah. is wrestle, isn't he? So you don't want to get wrestled yeah. by him and then bloodlusted out and everything. So no. Oh. And with a wizard and vampires, you can turn anything over, even elves. Yeah. So just just score. Um, and just get there safely, no matter what the cost is. And e even if you go one-one down, you face a second half with full rerolls and vamps and a whiz. Yeah, and you've so taken even... away his biggest attrition piece, haven't you? Which is glorious. Yeah. So at this point, even one-one at the half would feel like a really good position for the vampires for me. Yeah, it is one-one down. We knew what he. We know what he means, didn't we? Well, I mean, I do. Maybe you don't. <laughs> Sorry, that's needlessly harsh. Dimmy the champ. For one time. Well, CCL yeah, I mean, I, I, I accept I'm yesterday's man. He is the future. Mm. We live in the land of Dimmy. <laughs> it's going to take till next season to get that to work, Tom Schnitz. <laughs> but it will finally say Dimmy G is 0 1 in one chalice. <laughs> in the in six weeks' time. <laughs> Fuck off, Dimmy. <laughs> we don't know that to be true, Jimmy. We just know that to be true. <laughs> yeah. No, if we look, he might win. And, uh, and you know, he, he, can, he can just bang on the corrals, right? There's a, yeah. there's a clear path to victory there. There is. Um, that's the you do. Well, there was sent off for a stun there. <laughs> yeah. And it was a bit pathetic. Classic Burts. So, yeah, you just score here, don't you? You don't have Thrall support, unfortunately. You could maybe blitz to try and free him first, but probably just try and score. Yes, I also think there's there's too much Dauntless still knocking about. He tries to score, and he gets it. 
So there we are, the Vampires go 1-0. And traditionally, they're not a great uh, offensive unit. They're much better in defense. So yeah. you've got to say PTK really up against the wall here. Yeah, a little bit. Um, there's definitely more chance of England winning the Euros than Dimmy winning the Chalice. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And it's not It's not because it's Dimmy. It's, his team is terrible. Like, there's no... <laughs> there's no doubt about that. Like, if you give, if you give anybody... Anybody yeah, you can give that to Ducky, team. PTK, Davo, you know, Jimmy, any of the really, really good players, they would struggle to get more than maybe a round out of that. I mean, I think the Pro Elves, there is a route, but it's you're going to have to come at them really hard and aggressive without any mighty blow. Yeah. That's not easy. Yeah, yeah Dimmy, I mean, I, just go in with low expectations and high hopes of fun, mate. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. You deserve it. You qualified. No one can take that away from you ever, mate. That's job done. Box ticked. You are no longer the man that really wants to qualify for the challenge. So as I've said to you before, my question is, who are you now? What's next for Dimmy G? What is the mountain behind that mountain? <laughs> I don't really care. It's just, you know, fills air time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So fair. the vampire's going here with the rule of five, uh, or the boat, yes. uh, and a split line of scrimmage, which is interesting. Um, I can't think of a good reason why, except to... Uh, uh, by, splitting the, by splitting the LOS, it means that the, uh, he's got no danger of hitting with his frenzy, uh, frenzy wrestle guy. That was just being nice to uh, PTK, giving him a chance. Yeah, I mean, it does help with the frenzy. I guess it does mean that any way the vampires want to go, there's something to bite up in that direction. I'm trying to think of a positive, Jim. It, it kind of splits them up a bit as well, right? It splits, yeah. Splitting the LOS up a bit, you know, gives more angles for uh, gaze and getting in. Oh, yes, that's kick. true. Thinning, thinning the line so that you can gauge your way through it. That's good too. Yeah, I like that. High kick is really brutal, isn't it, against birds because they've got the catch on the on the thing. So it's a three, one in nine to catch it now. They certainly um, do. Very disappointing. Or bright. And it's, yep, yeah, it is a 1 in 9, as you say. It is a plus AG, but of course minus because it counts as an inaccurate. Yeah. Um. <laughs> God. <laughs> um. Oh, there we go. There's the frenzy. You can hit with impunity. And, uh. Doesn't really G much. I don't like this from PTK. I don't know. I guess he didn't want the rest. That, yeah, that was an odd, odd, odd blocking strategy, wasn't it? Mm. I don't that feel he good. maximized his, his chances there, but perhaps that's not what this turn's all about. <laughs> Very interesting to not have a wrestler making this punch. Hmm. Because this is now a one in nine fail, which is a bit of a worry. I mean, he's got four rerolls, but yeah, yeah it's... oh well, there you go. Made a cast. Wonderful. Yeah, the thrall count's sort of okay for the vampire vampires right now, though, isn't it? It's um. Oh, hello. You know, you said he had a reroll. <laughs> yeah. Three more. Uh, that is the first thrall that isn't coming back because they threw the apo at the first one that went down. Uh, interestingly, they haven't chosen to bring the plus agility thrall on for this drive. Gets the pal. Look a dog. <laughs> <laughs> and he's uh, trying to control some of that space up ahead of this drive, but this makes it very vulnerable to a whiz and gaze attack, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I mean, to be fair, you're always going to be vulnerable to that. Aren't yes. You? Like, the, the, I think against vamps with a wizard... <laughs> Just forget about defending the ball <laughs> because you can't possibly, yeah. you can't like, Just, even with like three minute turns, even if it was like 10 minute turns, there's no way you could fathom out all of the possible options with like bolts and fireballs and multiple gazes. Like it's just difficult. insane. It's insane what, what you can do on this turn. But by the same token, Bright can't work it all out either. So he's just going to have to go with his gut when the, when the time comes, isn't he? Yep. When he sees a chance that he likes the look of. Yeah. And it may not be mathematically the best one, but, you know, it's going to be the one that makes him feel it's possible. Yeah. Uh, interestingly, uh, Pro worked on the hit there, meaning that peasant went down, but failed on the bloodlust there. Yeah. So a brawl is getting bit. 
But a, uh, a peasant is getting gazed. He does remember. Well done this time. <laughs> now, on a single go for it, you can... Uh, oh no, two go for it. Yes, you can gaze the peasant just in front of the ball. And open up the ball for a blitz from the strength of five. Just yeah. saying. Ball sack. But if you if you actually if you gaze the one that's um, marking the eight, the five, and then use the remaining vampire to gaze either of the ones in front of the ball, <laughs> then it's much easier and doesn't require any go for it. Mm -hmm. oh. And if it fails, you can still try it the other way. No, another pro failure there. Yeah, he's gonna have to come over here and bite this one probably, isn't he? Uh, I think he is. Have that one having disappeared. Yeah, so that's directly away from where he wants to be, but it's the other stun thrall, so it's it's a cost neutral one to bite. Yeah. And, and Remembers the hit gaze, another fail there. Yeah. And he's he's sticking a strength five on two strength threes, which is which is quite yeah. a nice trade, isn't it? It's what you want. It's yeah, it, it controls them. Yeah. But he upgrades that stun to a KO. And as I said, that's the best vampire now, not anywhere near the ball. You're right, it does control two nice pieces, but... And neither of them daunt us, so... Yeah, I think that's fine. The thick skull's there, though, so, you know, he's not worried about that one. <laughs> yeah. That, Probably don't that activate one, the, last, uh, the last... That one the last can survive. Now, right? ah. This guy's got to come in here, hasn't he? He, he hasn't actually... Yeah... Okay. I think you're right. Probably leave it there. You can still get back into these elves. <sighs> and if it fails, Stupid. it's pretty ruinous. Okay, well, he, he got the he got the pro. But, yeah, I think he Oof. I think he shouldn't have. I think it was fine where he was. And, just, like, it's a bit like Augur's right. There comes a point where you've just got to stop activating them sometimes. <laughs> stop hurting yourself. <laughs> yeah. Enough now. Yeah, and I actually preferred him where he was anyway, you know, because now now PTK is putting the men here and taking this hit, and he's a bit overcommitted to this side, isn't he? Yeah, I like this side switch. I I do wonder if that final yeoman in to get the two dike would have been better one space further forwards. I know it was a go for it, but controlling that uh, that rackle that wrestle kick peasant would have been useful too. <laughs> Do you know what's not? It's it's it, honestly it's just because I was thinking of my last run and I was like, God, I wish I'd got my extra skill and got the sprint. And I was like, He hasn't taken sprint, he's taken leap. And it, you know, I just didn't kind of realise, didn't register to me that it was a, that it was a wood elf and not a uh, not a. Uh, Is this the handoff? He, a, no, no. I, I thought that might be a handoff. Okay. He hasn't got far enough away. Oh God! He hasn't got far enough away from this pack of vamps, has he? This is going to be no. interesting. No, I mean he, everything that is left has to be put into defending the ball now because the ball hasn't, as you said, gone anywhere near far enough away. Oh, he's going to foul, or he's going to foul. That's going he to is. Help. He's going to foul the strength of five. But I mean, this is very. This is a wizard turn, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. This this is very dangerous. I guess there's only two turns left, it's not such a good wizard turn. That's the yeah. problem, isn't it? There's only two no, and Vamps being so slow, they're... Um... Wow, oh. that was pretty brutal. Two fouls, two caught. Yeah, Ref hasn't liked them, and no damage done by either. Yeah, I think I think Again. if this was turn six, you whiz. I think turn Full six, you whiz, and you swarm. Yes, I think you're right, because here, I don't think the Vamps can get forward and score, even if they pick the ball up. Yeah. Um, that would be really pushing the rerolls hard. Yeah. So I think probably here you just settle for stopping. Yeah, blitz this pretty good blitzer, and yep. uh, and just you know stall in front and just sa be satisfied with one nil at the half. Yep. But yeah, I think if it was turn six or even turn five, right? I mean, obviously, but you know what I mean. <laughs> turn six, you can really think about it then, because then you can you can spend. I mean, as it happens, the wamp, the strength five vampire, isn't on uh, dauntless. So if you cancel the peasant up the front with something as well, that's a pain in the tits for him. Yep. Oh dear, he's not been lucky on these bloodlusts, has he? Well, well, he got the pro this time. But pro chimes in. Yeah, horrific. Now, in some ways, that's that's better than a push for him because it's a uh, sidestepping fend that uh, particular yeah. knight or blitzer. Yeah. What would have been interesting would have just been uh, gazing this fella 
And then you would have had a four plus with a reroll to two D the ball. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wouldn't it have been terrible? The problem is believing again, it's another bludge step. Yeah. Uh, though without Fend, it's believing that you can find the power without tackle, isn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't have bothered. Like, I mean, uh, I like just blitzing the furthest forward guy and trying to defend. Oh my god, another bloodlust! Wow. These are hungry vampires. Okay, putting the reroll in, he has got the reroll, so it's fine. Probably should have stood him up earlier, boy. Go for the six plus gaze. Yeah. You can do it. No, 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 he's dodging first. Okay. Well, that's because because he hadn't cancelled anything staying there. It was just an automatic hit. He didn't gaze. He didn't gaze, man. Again, this is just insane. Because it's an assist that just he'd have to activate and then not be able to do things with afterwards. It it just is zero cost to do. Yeah, I mean, like Bright obviously does play different races. That's the thing, isn't it? Like you know, guys like Caprion and that are never ever gonna forget to do that. Uh, whereas guys like me who and Bright who only play a bit of Vams are going to forget to do that occasionally um, but you know you shouldn't and it is just no, wrong isn't it That's yes the... yeah, it is just absolutely there's no cost to doing it and only benefits if it works yeah. I quite like the Rackle Blitz on this Vamp here oh no he can't he's got thick skull <laughs> <laughs> sorry I can't. so it means you can drop him on a piece it doesn't matter if he gets hit because obviously thick skull pieces are immortal. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get the blitzer either. Wow, brutal. Yeah, and that would have, that could have been really huge, right? Because he could have gone for this two uh, D on him first before activating him, as it happened. Yeah. I've played a bit of vamps. Yeah, I've played a bit of vamps. Try. Not a lot. And I was just trying to, you know, not act, you know, superior all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, because like it's easy when you come into it and to act like you're cleverer than everybody else, isn't it? You know, and like saying that was that was terrible and what have you. So yeah, I played thirty games and I've probably forgot to gaze sometimes. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if I hadn't. Yeah, it's it's very very doable. Oh, PTK with a reroll in the darkness. Yeah, I smashes the fuck out of him. <laughs> well, that's why it's because he decided it was time that one died. Oh, PTK, too good at blood ball, disgusterous. Well, I hope people are taking notes as they watch this. That is very much how it's done. Also, of course, the uh, the absolute pro move there of making sure it didn't regen. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, that's how it's done. That's, uh, that's, that's that finished then. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, you could... Yeah, it was... I mean, you, you could... Or you could... Yeah, it's finished. Yeah. I mean, I there is a routine, there, isn't there? You can, if you can get two Hypno Cheats working, the Strength 5 can still get to the ball. Yeah. That's doable. It's going to be quite a few little dodges still for the Strength 5, but it is doable. That's probably... And in the first one, it doesn't even need to work because if it doesn't, the um, the thrall can knock the uh, the peasant out of the way. One, two, and even if that three, four, five, doesn't three. work, you've still got the dodges. To be fair, oh, Jesus, you need to stop. Oh wow, yeah, time. failing those is not helping. <laughs> I think that's my big tip for Bright: is less of the dice that fail. Yeah. Okay, well, the hypno cheats worked, so we can get to the ball. Yeah, yeah, just go this way. So one dodge, two tackle. I mean, you can four, things. you can four plus three plus without yeah. going through tackle with the one that's right by the ball. But probably best leave that for collection once you get Ooh, there, which powered. he has. He's powered. Powered the ball. Powder. And now it's just a three plus two plus to collect with the other vampire. Assuming the 2 plus bloodlust works. Yeah. And this looks like he's uh, he's made the stop, I would suggest. Yep, dodge this guy first so you can gaze him and get the thrall to bite in case this guy uh, bloodlusts. And just have him back over there in front anyway, right? I think that's fair. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah, there's absolutely no harm in it. 
it's a one in 36. Yeah. And as you said, there's someone to bite even if it goes wrong. Absolutely does. And then I would do the other vamp. Yeah, brilliant. Now the thrall can come round. Yeah. And as you said, then it doesn't matter if you fail the bloodlust. You can keep the rerolls for the dodges and the uh, pickup. I don't like the foul here because this might eat no. your bribe. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you would kind of have to reroll it, wouldn't you? I think you'd have to use your bribe, basically. Uh, not re I, I, Would you? Yes, I think you would. Yeah, because you're a dirty player and you're, you're quite low on men's, actually. <laughs> at this point. And, and yeah. also because the hypno-cheated knight at the front would then just be a 3 plus 3 plus from scoring. Yeah. Uh, if that guy got sent off there, clearing the space he's standing in. So yes, you would definitely have to use it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But now I think uh, I think the technical term for this is um, that K Fog is screwed. Yep. Up oh, shit creek, as they say in Portugal. So can he change gear? Not something he traditionally does. Perhaps at the very best. I mean, he obviously he does it extremely well because he does everything well. But if there is a weakness, sometimes he struggles with this. Now he's got to look to win in overtime through attrition of the vampires in the second half and a late score. Um, particularly you know, getting enough of the thralls out. As you said, they're already short on numbers. Thrall denial and an overtime win here is probably the most sensible plan for the high elves. For the high elves? For the, um, <laughs> for the Bretonians. <laughs> um, yeah. But the problem is the wizard, isn't it? Now the wizard is yeah. massive because now you've yeah, got to defend is. against all of the hypnotic uh, gaze activations, but also the wizard. <laughs> Which I suppose does mean that perhaps banging it in and trying to get it, say, a two turn and then turn the vampires over, vampires are not great on defense, might <laughs> come back into play. You know, remove the wizard as, a, as an option by either making him play it early or, you know, make him play it in defense, mm. in offense. Ball surf, Skuro. That's that's pretty impossible, I would say. Well, the ball surf is on here. Uh, he's filled the right squares, but now he needs to fill just one more. How? Um, the. Oh, he's going to dodge with him, I guess. The thrall directly in front, using the no. plus agility piece to go around the strength of the vampire and do it. But he has to fill this square. He does fill it. Oh, he was just trying the Dauntless from there. He's got the pal. <laughs> well, the ball's there, but where's the rest of this plan? Yeah, I mean, it was basically impossible. Like, it was it was pretty yeah. crazy and pointless as well, because you've got a score, haven't you? So, like... I suppose a bounce out there may have left some options for a knight to scoop it and give it yeah. to the other knight. Yeah, that's the problem. Like, you've got to score, haven't you? So this guy's basically got to be able to free to, to score. So it was. I mean, lots of things are possible in a game of the ball, aren't they? To be fair, if you if you if you decide to try to roll high enough, but it yes, if you can roll fourteen in sixes camera. in a row, you can do just about anything. Yeah, yeah. I wrote it off as a reasonable thing to attempt, but yes, probably technically possible. Well, I mean, this is an easy pass now, isn't it? He just goes in the end zone and he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Passes to him. Easy. It's an easiest touchdown of your life. Yeah, there's a couple of cheeky little dodges in there, but it's, I mean, it's, you know, it's possible. Yeah. He's, he is in the end zone, Jim. That's half the plan done. Oh. He failed instantly on the other half. <laughs> <laughs> That is thick skull, yeah, back here. Yeah, that is thick skull. Kept him on the pitch. Did. Oh, failed both KOs. Uh, vamps might be down to Wow, 10, the vamps are, yeah, they're very short numbered now. Nine? Nine. <laughs> because they had a bench of three and there are three casualties, so the two KOs directly impact on the pitch. So as I said, just remove all the thralls and win the ball in overtime, and it still becomes an easy game again. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, Star. <laughs> you think so, Star? Or maybe even Dauntless? <laughs> yeah, Dauntless would have been fine. Tackle. <laughs> yeah, I think Tackle. and I, I don't know what his next match oh, is. It, what's his next match? Do you know what the next match is against? Uh, is not yeah, didn't we say it was someone brutally difficult to be up against for either of them? 
Yeah, vaguely. Wasn't it Ducky or something? I don't know. I have a feeling it was Ducky. No, in that case, tackle isn't so good, is it? Yeah, yeah I would probably rather have Thick Skull than Frenzy. But imagine if we were just both Mighty Blow, then he could just be banging on men's. I really don't like the Frenzy. But I guess it's it's a nice weapon to have against shitters, isn't it? <laughs> and like it's a it's a it's a two in your toolbox, isn't it, against some things, but I don't know, I feel like against good players it's mostly just gonna cost you, isn't it? That's the problem with I yeah, I don't like it. Um but I'm not PTK and he seems to have gotten great use out of it. I mean this team's had a stunning record. Mm. Mm. I mean that's the thing, most people you play in CCL aren't that good. So against most people, it's just a really good thing to have, isn't it? Um, and it's there are bone there are like good things about frenzy in the games, like versus good players. But yeah, exactly. Try yeah, it's great. It's great for the ladder, the frenzy. And it's it's not terrible against good players. <laughs> he is man. <laughs> But though, if I saw him with a thick skull guy, I would laugh in his face and call him stupid. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't be like, what the hell are you thinking? <laughs> oh, there's another Kaz. Finally gets the ducky foul. After two gym fouls, he gets a ducky foul. But he's sent off a foul. Oh my god, he's made three fouls and been sent off every time. <laughs> um, I can confirm, uh, Mengo. Yeah, that is three from three, which is awful. Um, probably why he came with the really long bench of peasants he did <laughs> was expecting them to fail every single foul he tried. Mm -hmm. I confirm I have met uh, Kor at several NAF events. He is a mountain of a man. Yeah. Uh, and one of the most coddlable humans, humans you will ever meet. Yeah, he's lovely, isn't he? He's, he's a lovely guy. He's, like, he's so nice. He's, as, as Wang has said, he is the complete opposite of me because he's, he's a lovely fellow and he's actually good at Blood Bowl. <laughs> 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 Don't right, be. So this is interesting. The um, the Bretonians literally lining up across the field. Yeah, yeah. And don't be daft, calcium. You've never met a foul you didn't like. <laughs> Dude, they are again bringing the ball right up into these vampires' faces. No respecter of the uh, hypno cheat on the vampires. Mm. Again, it's hitting that strength of fire that's getting him hard tonight. <laughs> yeah, he's really up for this, isn't he, PTK? And he's got just about enough guard, and obviously now there's no tackle at all, so now the strength five is actually the main the main ball sacking threat because it means yep. he can he can sack him for, like with a guard assist in. Yeah. I don't like this angle. On a push it was gonna be stuck on um on Bretonian still. Yeah. But it wasn't a push, of course, it was another pal. And it was a it's, removal, standard. Is it another another death? Yeah. Oh no, just a KO, but um, things starting to mount up in the uh, vampire team things that aren't there list. Well, yes, obviously try that the wizard's the main ball second threat, but you know what I mean, like main ball second player threat, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> That's a much harder sentence. You knew what I meant. <laughs> God damn it! I don't, know, I don't know about you, Jim, but I like multiple ways to uh, to play at the ball sack. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, obviously, if you can just bolt and get it, and maybe he goes for it now. I think you go for it now because okay, shit. I think you just go for it there. If if you if you get like one of these four scatters, so it's not in any tackle zones, you can blitz. You can blitz this peasant and. Gears him and you straight through and gone. I, th I yep. really, I really quite like the ball there. I really quite uh, like it. Uh, slightly distracted by Fermier pointing out it was an eight on the vampires, uh, the vampires armor, meaning that thick skull would have saved it. <laughs> oh dear. Best skill in blood ball. Someone should do a thick skull first team. Oh yeah, I do every season. <laughs> 
Yeah, fixed skill's a bit different when you don't have to have to pick it. Yes, to yeah. I mean, the only player I normally take it on sometimes is maybe a third normal pick if I'm not recycling them on a goblin troll. Yeah. yeah. Whose job really is to take those hits, and a KO there is brutal to the team. Wow, and in other news, a, a rocket wow. was scored by Belgium there. Beautiful. Yeah, that was a cracker, wasn't it? Yeah, beautiful. I liked Belgium for this tournament. I still think they've um, they've got players that have just never quite done what they're capable of on the international stage. Yeah. Now, Core pushing very, very hard forwards here. Um, not really worried about the uh, diminishing number of vampires. Of course, there are three vampires, but one is uh, a full-on canoring threat. Yeah. Which is maybe a bit too much. Yeah, I did say that he'd have to spend this half um, reducing thralls. Well. I mean, it's pretty much done already, isn't it? Well, I think... Vampire's been helping out there, but there just aren't thralls left. No, but I mean, you don't need them. That's the thing. You just don't need them to win. Yes. So you, so you yeah, can you just... Don't. You can just get the ball here and... and you know, I guess you use the wizard here. It's not horrible. I guess you have to use the wizard, like fireball. Fireball these four. Well, I mean, I liked it the bolt. turn before. The bolt. Yeah, when you had better position on the ball and the ball was more central, so get away a ball. Here, the odds of believing that you're going to get ball down and get in and get it away, I, I'm not. It's going to try. Roll to one. Yeah. Well, it's not going to work. No. I, I, I mean, like I know that the uh, the fireball's horrible there, but I feel like it it, yeah. it was what you needed because it was so bad. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you just needed at least to get the ball down and another guy, and then and then with two, then then it gives you the wiggle room to get in and get the get, snaffle it away. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Um, I mean, really, the answer was, you know, it's one of those questions of, oh, what do I do now? And the answer is, well, play the first three turns better. <laughs> yeah. um, it, it, use the whiz the turn before. I think we've had whiz interrupt us here. You know, another case of frightened to use it, looking for a better option, and actually the better option turns out to have been last turn. Yeah. And unfortunately, you see that with wizards a lot. So the vampires now have to rethink. They're not stopping this drive. They need to turn their heads into how do we win this in overtime? Yeah. And or can we force the score in the next couple of turns? I mean, that that is still an option. Yeah. It seems a bit unlikely. <laughs> Stop paying the wizard in advance. Yeah, that'd be great, wouldn't it? If you got your money back, if it rolled a one. <laughs> that'd be great. 150, like you get 50k after the game if the if the whiz rolled a one on the ball, that'd be awesome. That would. God, it's so horrible when you do roll a one. Man. It is. It's, it's despicable. It's the other reassuring thing about a fireball. If you put four people under a fireball, I mean, I've failed all four people under a fireball. I've failed six people under a fireball, <laughs> but it is a lot less common. Yeah, exactly. Try, yeah, just try and hit that. Oh my god, he just keeps bloodlusting all the time. Okay, pro, yeah. pro I mean, pros, there. I think about 50 50 sorted it, but yeah, the bloodlust have been brutal. Yeah. For once, I might be genuinely interested in seeing the statistic on that. <laughs> that rare moment where I feel it might genuinely be pertinent. Of course, in the next five turns, he may just succeed every single one, so it'll look completely normal by the end of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's almost like just raw data isn't as meaningful as people try and pretend it is because they desperately need answers that isn't. You're not very good at blood ball. <laughs> um, yep. Gets the lovely power. He's going to be able to lever. Oh, no, he's not. No, oh, yeah, of course. Removal. Didn't need to lever the, uh, the elf out because he could push the thrall back. Every making it free to run. <laughs> Every time if he, he looks, looks at over vampire, a vampire, yeah, he they just disappear, it. don't they? Yeah, it's insane. No, he could have done. He could have levered the elf out. Although he's going to hit the uh, plus agility yeah. thrall and kill that instead, isn't he? No, oh, he didn't even yeah. kill it. Wow. Rookie mistake from PTK. Losing his touch. <laughs> yeah, he's being <laughs> diced now. <laughs> oh, it's okay. He made up for it with the Kaz on the next hit. <laughs> I'm not sure it fully makes up for it, Jim. I... <laughs> God. <laughs> well, um, and just bringing the ball back in where the vampires can see it, because what are you going to do? Mm. What are you going to do with your three players? 
Oh, I've I've just massively undervalued them. I'm sorry. There's four. <laughs> yeah. Hello, PB. And... Uh, the vamps are up shit creek. They have been absolutely destroyed by PTK. That's it. <laughs> now he's, um... all he can do is run away. <laughs> You say that, Jimmy. The vamps. I mind you, mind. I must remind you here. Are winning. They are winning one 0 Yeah, but the you know the how dead so are the they? Vamps, is very the vamps dead. are winning. Um, nothing more to say, really. They're they're obviously likely to continue that until the end of the game. Yeah. Unless some for somehow they manage not to, and I can't can't see how that would happen. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's only three of them on the pitch. <laughs> uh, might just happen then. Yeah, yeah. Two He's chances fouling. to wake up, and uh, you know, if if this guy doesn't stay out, that's that's the big one, isn't it? If he, oh, if he, ooh, fills the hand off. And core is vanity passing already. Wow. Oh, I mean, he's got four turns to get it on that guy, hasn't he? So, <laughs> is that one near a skill up? Is that going to be another thick skull available to him? No, he did put him in MVP range. Yeah, MVP <laughs> the thick range skull of... available to him. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's better than one thick skull on the line? It would be two, wouldn't it? Good. Just after he's run away, he's like, holy shit, he's put it on the floor. And he just can't do anything about it. Well, you can run back. He is. He he's absolutely is. on the stand firm, it fails. <laughs> Cosmic. He wants to keep that reroll dry. In case of a, a riot. I mean, oh. vampires can't one turn, so in case of a riot. Yeah. Well, the second Ooh. half as well. I mean, you know, third re roll it. Wow. He had five PT. Oh, no, he's only, now only got four, though, and he mm. does face overtime. Yep. He is putting in the big old foul. Now, traditionally, this means he now gets one peasant less for the next turn. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's That's four fouls, four sendings off. This oh, ref ain't here to kid. And Bright still has his bribe, but he just hasn't been able to foul anybody. Like, I, think, I don't know if he's made, he's made one foul, I think, in the entire... No, two fouls in the entire game, I think. And he's, he's going with another one. This is... <laughs> I'm reminded of uh, that golfer at the open <laughs> taking his shots into the water. This time he does at least get the KO. I think that's the first one that's done anything at all and <laughs> doesn't get sent off. Holy shit. Uh, one was a Kaz, but yeah. Um, okay. But yeah, the first one that wasn't sent off. Unbelievable. But yeah, if he gets back like uh, four or five of these, he could get back five, six, seven... Eight players and win the toss. You know, yeah, it's, it's, it's possible. He's, he can't put a foul in. He just has to score. No, I won't oh, 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 sure, boy. I'm victorious. And I will defend. <laughs> I will <laughs> defend. <laughs> oh, PV, thank you very much. Gifted a sub to Ghost Wizards. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Glorious. <laughs> Can we get a ban, please? Yeah, let's just ban ban K Fog from Chalice. <laughs> Toxic showboating. <laughs> oh, skip that by mistake. And he did get four back. He so did. Now he can get one out of two, and he'll have got five out of six back. Which is quite and the Brets, really, quite despite amazing. coming with their big bench, um, the vampires have managed to casualty one of them, uh, and cause had four sent off. So they're now quite short of numbers themselves. Yeah. They are now capped at ten. Yeah. And yeah, they could be. I mean, they could even be nine, right? You could get both of these back, and you could have nine. Yes, that's uh, that's a possible outcome. That's about a one in four. Yeah. It's just possible he loses one this turn, though, because vampires can be bitey. Yes, maybe he just blocks with his thralls and doesn't activate the vamps. Yeah, he's going to activate the vamps. I, I know he is. But maybe he shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, but he's going to activate the vamps. <laughs> yeah. 
And he could actually get a foul in, couldn't he? Yes, we might see a foul. That would be nice. I uh, haven't seen many of those this game. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can just let the van bloodlust. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah you can get the van bloodlust. Yeah, let it bloodlust off the pitch. It's back for the next drive. Yeah. They're probably not such a bad team, actually. I don't think, like, one's dive was just a throw. I don't know what happened to the uh, to this fan. Oh, he got minus out. Oh, this one got so yeah. So he's missing. He's missing. Like probably the most important one, right? Tackles so important on vampires. I learnt that in my thirty games with vampires that having a tackler is so important because you're all about the ball sack. You need that. Tackle. Yeah, yeah. You have to be able to take it down no matter what's carrying it. And if you don't have a wizard to hand, then yeah, it needs a tackle piece. Um, I also don't hate a Rog uh, and then into Rackle Vampire, uh, but I'm no Vampire expert. Oh. And you can throw oh. you can throw Wrestle on the thralls, it's quite good defensively on them. So he's called two, so the ref has called a, a lot of the fouls. I mean, I think uh, Bright did throw a couple that weren't called, yeah. but the ref's been really on his game tonight. Yeah, it's something like five out of eight. Incredible. He gets the ball carrier back, so... He's going to have 8 versus 10. Mm. Is he going to win the toss? He is. Ooh. As it happens, yes. There's a chance. There's actually a chance here. There is. There's, I mean, it's more than a, It's more than the sort of, you know, the chance of me still sleeping with Angelina Jolie before I die. It's a genuine chance, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. I mean, a real and actual thing. So... Interesting here how PTK sets up against the quick push that the Vampires desperately, desperately want to do here. Again, as with all Vampire offences, the longer they stay on the pitch, the more chance it goes wrong. Mm -hmm. So their best option here is to push up and try and score in two or three. Yeah. So it's we're also... seeing Core put his stand firm right out on the wings, try and stop those advances up the side, and actually hollowing the middle out a little. Mm. But of course, he's got uh, sidestep as well, hasn't he? He's got sidestep fair yeah. and he's got stand firm, so he's got all sorts of things going on. Um, but yeah, interesting, isn't it? Because it's hard to score in two with Vams because they are move six, so it, it is a bit tricky yes. to score in, in, in two with them. But having the ball the strength of the ball and a strength five blodger is, is really hard to deal with, isn't it? Even if you've got a dauntless guy, that is, uh, that is tricky. It is, but paradoxically, I think we're going to see the strength five vampire just hit a shitter. <laughs> yeah, um, it looks like it, doesn't it? Which is a choice. Mm. Okay, no, good. Hopefully he's hitting it with that thrall, and the thrall isn't just there to power up the vampire. <laughs> in fact, if the vampire was hitting, you'd have thought the other thrall would be in to give it three die. So it does look like he's going to hit with the thrall and, uh, and blitz with the vampire, which is the natural way of doing things. Yep. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even have this vampire. I would just fucking sack this guy off, and uh, I guess maybe he's just going to punch him and then get him around. But yeah, you, yeah, you want to gaze one, and uh, and then just get people down the field, don't you? And hope hope something's going to happen. Basically, <laughs> right, don't get blitzed off. That isn't what you were hoping was going to happen, though. Pro tip. Pro tip. When you down players. Um, <laughs> Don't get blitzed on. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Now, suddenly not controlling that peasant on the line of scrimmage looks uh, not ideal as a choice. <laughs> However, the deep kick, it's, it's not... There are worse places this blitz could be. I'm not pretending this isn't still some terrible, terrible dice, but there are worse places that uh, that ball could be going. But, nah, you know, at least, at least he can dodge with all those vamps and... And, you know, yeah. like it's not that bad, the wall of guard that he's no. facing. Like, it's obviously terrible, but at least he can dodge away from some of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Try it. Might open, it might actually open up a, a pro potato player here. Oh, I thought he'd go for the outline vamp. Yeah, Colour so me I. surprised. So did I. But this was a guarantee too, without putting another player in, wasn't it? And also yep. that's a pro one. 
Yeah, I didn't need Dauntless to fire. Oh, oh. Oh, well, that's that's, that's alright, isn't it? He was always coming through for the ball with the uh, plus agility. Yeah. But the point is that, the, I mean, the problem is the Thrall's got plus agility too. It dodges away on a 2 plus, picks up on a 1 in 36, mm -hmm. pops a little pass into a vampire. So now it's about can the vampires create a hole? Yeah, and they surely can because they can, they can, uh, they can get it to this guy, can't they? Or maybe yeah. this guy. This guy seems the easiest one to get it to. Yes. I mean, Cause left a, you know, left his uh, tackle piece, the sole remaining tackle piece back to cover any vampires that head forwards, and it does have Dauntless, but it still would like to get an assist in there. Um, there is a lot of Bretonians still, though. Yeah. You can four, five, six, GFI, so you at least tag him. Gaze this one. Love it to him. Fuck off. It's my yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I like that. Nice try, but he's not doing that. He's going for a four plus gaze. Gets it. Yeah, this could get remarkably uh, difficult for Core if um, there's now the uh, the thick skull piece needs to earn its keep. It needs to ride this hit out. He doesn't. Uh, unfortunately, that that also not. Uh, an armor break that led to the use of Thick Skull. But it yeah. could have been. It yeah. really could have been. So he's has to be strength 5, isn't he? Yeah. Yes, he is. I mean, he could pass the one in front of it and potato this turn. But he won't. Oh. No, he is. He is going to potato He this is turn. going for it. Wow, okay. I mean, there's only one thrall that can come with it, and maybe the last vampire. But this this doesn't look safe, Jimmy. It certainly doesn't, does it? There's too much. No, I thought, you know, the way he done it, I thought he's just going to give it to the strength five and then wait a little bit. Yeah, me too. I just don't feel like he can get enough to make it safe. I've just checked. That wasn't uh, an inaccurate pass. That was the intended target. He is going for it. He full-on believes in himself here. Which is nice, because I think, as we've made clear, we don't. <laughs> I mean, he can do some dodges with the other van, but, like, where to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, what? Oh. You, you've got to try and break through and mark this tackler, don't you? Yeah, well, the, 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 plus the, the throw dodge. could do that. He's just going to run up with him. I, I feel alarmed. This does not feel safe to me. One, two, three, four, five, six gears. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, okay. Getting that three plus helps a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, no, that really is going to help, but it's still not easy. He just needs to. He now he needs to screen up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Get the other side of those. There we are. One more go for it. Yeah. Really helps. Beautiful. Yeah. Um. I mean, that said, I can still get the, the hypno-gazed uh, blocker, you call them. Uh, he doesn't even need to be part of it. You can move the vampire off him and then activate him to get the, uh, the assist the behind this vampire. Got, he didn't need to do these two GFIs. I, I, like, no. It is better, but I, I, I just don't think he needed them. But it is better. Gaze him. It is, it gaze is better. Him. Oh, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, all right. But, but he didn't gaze, gaze him, Jimmy. He didn't even try. Yeah, just gaze okay, him. Okay, this is, that's about the third time that we've seen sort of really important ones that could have helped. Yeah. So, as I said, you can move this vampire without activating the, uh, the hypno-cheated player and then activate it to put the assist in, which Did I think is what we're going to see happen. I thought, I thought he burned dodge. Did he not? Yeah, he rolled the two. He still had the. Yep. He burnt the dodge try. So now you just need a push, and then you have your assist. I still think you're wrong, though. Um, boy, you, well, that's wrong, isn't it? Two GFIs is worse than a three plus. You're just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> It's just worse. 
you weirdo. Yeah, but I mean, being in front of it does mean that this is less simple. Oh it yeah, like it is better to get in front. Hidden. Oh wow, look at that. But I'm, yeah. Wow, just do it that way. It's much easier. Oh, there we go. Now he's got to get it back as well oh, because. Oh, where's it gonna go? Oh! oh! Now that is brutally difficult for Core. Um, he's got some pieces that can get there, but there's two go for it to pick it up, and then there's a big old vampire just lurking nearby. <laughs> Now, the Bloodstep uh, Knight or Blitzer can get there on two go for it. And does. Boy, howdy. There's a fail. Oof! He's got the rerolls. He'll pump it in. Yeah. There we go. Does the little naked two plus afterwards, because of course he does. Pumping it in, but yeah, he wanted he wanted to do the GFIs. Maybe that was the thing on it, Mangle. So it was more important to just get the other thing first. It's all coming together for Bright, yeah. Uh, not really, but <laughs> yeah. And no, I think that was the right way. You had to pick the ball up first and then do the go for it to put yourself helping it afterwards. Yeah. So he's got a gears, then he's got a uh, assist, and then he's got 2D, and then he's going to sidestep away, so he's not going to be able to score this turn. So that's disappointing for him, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. I mean, the, the good scenario here ends with the ball still in a vampire's hands. I think that's unlikely, but it's not impossible. Okay. Now that really... There, finally we see a nice use of the Hypno Cheat, and of course it fails. Yeah. And Pro fails. And he's, he's just got to do the 3 plus dodge, hasn't he? There's no other choice. No, I guess there is. I guess there is. He can just blitz from here, can't he? He can just blitz from here. Yeah. But the problem is, that then if you gaze, you're fucked. Whereas at least this way, if you get there, then, and, you, and you're, uh, like if you gaze, if you're blitzed. So yeah, I think it probably is worth going there. It gives you I, th I mean, he thought so too. I thought so too. Also, because as you said, there's the bloodlust angle. There's also because you're going to do the dodge anyway. Oh, I would have put it in. Yeah, okay. I think I would have just cancelled and still hit from the square he's just put the assist in from. Because one other thing I liked about it was just putting another body somewhere near those Bretonians and the ball. Although I suppose it's still done. <laughs> Another little pro fail there. Oh. No. Uh, one in nine and a cheeky throw here. Oh no, you can knock them both off, can't you? Yeah. Does he even need to throw then? I mean, if... Uh, no, he's got loads of time. As there is this so. plus agility thrall, but yeah, he's got the time. I, I think if this is an armor break. One, two, three, four, he's five. No, I think he, he can still get out of range, can't he? Yeah, he's no, no reason at all to pass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is this thrall um, up at the top by the, the little peasant cluster. He needs to knock that over. Oh, of course he sidesteps, and so no, he doesn't. He can stay right on the edge. Yeah. Still needs to knock it over, though. I mean, technically, it's uh, a 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus from 2 die. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Try. I think they would have. They would have both done something, wouldn't it? It's, uh, I think. I think once he'd moved the first one, he moved the first one. Then it made sense to put the second one where he put the second one because he was going to try and get the third one out but he could have just done like a he could have just done a screen like here and here couldn't he and that would have probably been better I would have thought. but I think once he once he put the first one all the way up there then it didn't make more sense to put the second one there and then get the third one and then you then you've got the chance of making it all perfect haven't you
Yeah, not sure that adds much. Just wrong. I just think knocking this thrall over is the only important thing, and he has, so now it should all be fine. <laughs> There's an obvious one die, but it's a one die needing a six. <laughs> so confident he pops a reroll in there. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's no point. It, you can't take them with you when you're dead, can you? <laughs> no, when the game's over, the rerolls are of no use at all. You cannot spend them at the bar. Yeah, and, and you know, there's no way K-Fog thinks this is going to kicks right now. <laughs> no, the vampires have two hopes here. The first one is that uh, one in six for six plus. And the second one is to get this strong vampire back and hope for a handoff fail, which is a 1 in 36. <laughs> so they're both incredibly unlikely. Yeah. Um, but they've got to be tried. Yeah. I think I like not activating the vamp um, because he's a possible recovery for when you yeah. one dice, pow him, follow, and then the ball scatters to you and then into the crowd. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I, I was thinking exactly the same, Jimmy. Incredibly unlikely as that is, there was a chance he could have had a recovery option to play. If this 2 plus 6 plus works. Here's the 6 plus, though. Doesn't get it. I think he does put the reroll in, making it a 1 in 3 shot, which isn't bad for this point in the game. Yeah. Yeah, I think I respect that he did that. That is his last reroll gone, though, but then. That's okay because he loses this turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like he had to do that, didn't he? And now he can just hand off and hand off and score, can't he? Yeah, as Mangirl says, thirty percent to power with reroll there. Yeah. And then all he needed was the one in eight scatter and the one in <laughs> the one in three catch fail and then uh, the one in three scatter the three out of eight scatter and then <laughs> details details next you'll be telling me that the fact that he's just been KO'd is in any way significant <laughs> and, and then so the now one, it is the yeah and then the one in three scatter to go at the other end and then he was laughing <laughs> pretty much dice that didn't happen I think we can all agree yeah here we are one in 36 to win the game that's it Oh, needs the catch. <laughs> so got the one in six, but not the one in 36. It's over. Now he's just plotting in the most complicated zigzag to score that he can. <laughs> he's got to go for the man kiss meat throttle here. It's the only logical one. Yep, there we go. <laughs> and in the corner. Of course, true class scoring under the posts, everyone knows that. But in the corner is a good second best. They are the only two acceptable good points evening, to score. Good evening, wrestlers. What can <laughs> yep. I do for you? Yeah, uh, well done, PTK. I think I think he definitely got the better of the dice there in that in that match. To be honest, it was absolutely weird. You don't think the vampires' bloodlusts are going to prove to be just more or less one in six failed, Jim? I don't think they are, but let's find out. Okay. He did make a lot at the end, didn't he? He did he make, did a, lot make a lot at the end. As you predicted, it's all going to be sorted yeah. out by a few irrelevant ones at the end. Yeah, 80%, only a little bit bad. Yeah, perfect. Crazy. And Pro being slightly better. Yeah. Yeah. Dodge is about right. It's so weird. It's so weird playing against Wampers. It's, it really is. It's it's not Blood Bowl. It, it's Blood Bowl, but it's completely different game. Yeah. yeah. Blood Bowl. Yeah, it's it's pretty good though when every time you hit a hit a vampire you, you remove them, isn't it? <laughs> I like yes. that part. I didn't <laughs> particularly want to hit the vampires. I was absolutely fine just having to hit peasants. Do you peasants have that Van blood. Helsing blood in your bloodline? Have you have you looked into the past? Is that a <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Unfortunately, they also decided to come back. I was a little bit annoyed by that. Now, <laughs> you were having a bit of a personal battle with the ref, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> About what constituted fair play. And he was very, very firm that nothing you were doing with your peasants constituted fair play. I didn't, uh, didn't I manage to make one foul that didn't get sent off? I think you did. One. You did. Yes, your <laughs> fifth and final foul was not removal. <laughs> uh, um, to be fair, it, Brad had the same issue. I was about he to did. say. 
Yeah. You made what? Three fouls and got sent off once. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the yeah it wasn't a brutal. It wasn't a day for the dirty play, was it? Um, no, but it's fine. The person is still not worth well, anything. It's fine. Oh, wow, what a sick MVP as well. KFOG going did for the it, handoff. It and it did paid he? off. It did, yeah. <laughs> so the uh, the wrestle, the Rog uh, guard blocker uh, can now also add um, fix Stand goal fair. and live on the line. <laughs> no. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's the plot, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, the rush, yeah. <laughs> Jim's a big fan of the uh, the thick skull that you picked all by yourself. Yeah. That is the, I um, couldn't believe it, PTK. I couldn't believe it, that. The thing is, with with the problem is with the matchup. It's I, it's the nurg the nurgle is the nickling. In all fairness, I should fire that piece, but because it's the card, I cannot do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So it's yeah. That's no I mean, really good. It was a serious suggestion from me, and PTK thought about it and decided I was wise and right, Jimmy, and you're just <laughs> going to have to live with that. <laughs> um, yeah. that's, that's not that much to take on him because of that. No, there really isn't. I mean, Dauntless, Nick Tackle, and Fend we looked at as well, didn't we? Yeah, and it, people are saying the same. The thing is just with it, I'm, I'm, I'm not good at because of that, my nights are that nice. My my geomans get hang out to dry a lot, so I thought Fixed Call will mean at least I... He hopefully stays a bit longer for that duty. Yeah. Exactly. Well, He's going to live and die on the line of scrimmage, and Thick Skull is genuinely going to be helpful there. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. But, but I just thought like, tackle it, for this one, right? Because if you don't win this yeah. one, like, you know, and obviously your, your guy got you, like, your main killer got removed instantly, and then, like, now I've only got one tackle for the rest of the yes, game. Yes, when your first tackle went, Jimmy, Jimmy did raise it a second time. Did you at that moment think, yes, I should have gone with a rackle there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there we go. Yeah, that's we're all in agreement. Instantly removed on the first. At least I did the same to his vampire. Yeah, first time, those two got yeah. there were some <laughs> really <laughs> swingy dice there, weren't there, for both sides? Uh, key moments. Um, some incredible things happened, but that made it loads of fun to watch. Yeah, it's, it was. Uh, it was also. It was quite uh, interesting to play. <laughs> yeah, it was interesting to watch. Um, so, congratulations, PTK. Where's Stanford? Commiserations bright. Yep. Well played. Yes, yeah, well played to both. Thank you very much, uh, PC, for joining us in the booth. Pleasure. <laughs> Don't forget to use your hypno cheat if you have it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>